So something that I'm trying to keep in check is the size of these balls. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm going to draw a fan art of Xiao from Genshin Impact. I don't play this game, but my friend is super obsessed with it right now, and she wanted to do a collab with me, so she was able to convince me to draw Xiao. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do the lines part of it, and then she's going to color it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to start drawing. I really like starting with the eyes because the part I like to work on the most is the face and this character has very nice eyelashes already. Few tips to achieve smooth lines. My tip, it helps me. Um, I don't know if it's like a good general tip because I don't know many artists who do this, but what I do is I use a very light pen grasp and I use very light uh, pen touch when I draw on my tablets. I don't push very hard when I draw. But this mask is reminding me of one time I drew a Oni mask for a tattoo. Somebody commissioned me to design a tattoo for them. Actually, I think they commissioned me to design a tattoo for their boyfriend. <laughs> and I was like, i never done that before, but if you really trust me to make an artwork that is going to be permanently drawn on your body. Um, <laughs> I'll try. And I drew it. I, let me see if I still have it. Here it is. <laughs> this is the tattoo I drew. This is the only person that ever commissioned me for tattoos. So what I want to finish in this stream is I want to get done with um, the basic outline of his entire body. And I'll leave the details for later. I wish I thought of that before I went full out on this mask. <laughs> Alright, so I'm a little bit confused with how his collar goes. So I'm gonna move on and draw something easier, which is this necklace. So something that I'm trying to keep in check is the size of these balls. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure they're all similar in size. It does seem like I kind of, kind of started drawing them a bit bigger near the back of his neck. So what I want them to look like is I want it to curl a bit better around his neck in this direction, pretty much. Because I'm trying to give them like the shape since they're pretty long, but I don't think from this angle you should be able to see much of that length. There is a lot of beautiful boys in Genshin. Yes, I do have to say I appreciate that a lot for a gacha game. There are fewer gacha games that feature lots of male characters as opposed to gacha games that feature female characters. What is my motivation to draw? So I think my motivation to draw is the same as my motivation to create in general. So it doesn't have to be a drawing, it could be a video, um, it could be a graphic design, it could be animation, which I do very <laughs> very um uh, rarely <laughs> but sometimes i do and that is i love being able to put my ideas out on paper figuratively paper <laughs> so let's try to draw this arm i like that his design is asymmetrical on his arms i tend to like asymmetrical designs it's just it's more interesting so it seems like this arm has a sleeve Okay, so he has gloves on, so I'm not gonna make the mistake of drawing nails. Thanks for donating Matt. Matt says, I bet you $2 some neural network thinks the button is a naughty bit. Let's have a chat. Chat thinks the seal is too pure. Great armpits. Oh, what? No, I know. I know armpits is a fetish. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you see a picture with an armpit in it, more cases than not, it's not in a fetishy way. And um, the button being the, the naughty bit, that would be funny. It reminded me of Wario, or it, what, maybe it was Waluigi. I think it was a meme on Tumblr, and somebody was saying, okay, but why does he have such big nipples? Bruh, those are the buttons. So I thought I was going to struggle a little bit with his hand. But it looks alright. <laughs> it's mainly because my guidelines for this hand 
are all over the place. The thumb is in a strange position though, so I'm going to try to get that to look decent. Okay, so I think his gloves... Okay, so he has a whole... he has like a whole gauntlet on his hands. I see, so I'm glad I didn't go that far into detail. How do I draw hands that good? You always struggle with them. For me, for hands, it's definitely just a... Uh, uh, experience thing. The more you draw them, the more you realize the thoughts that you keep making. For example, if you're gonna draw a fist, and you don't really know how to draw one, you would probably draw one like this, right? All the fingers are the same length and on the same plane, right? <laughs> And if you have more experience and you look at more reference pictures and you start remembering better like those reference pictures so you don't need to use them as much um, you would realize that the first two fingers if you make your hand into a natural fist the first, the index finger and the middle finger they sort of lift up a little bit and as for the other two, of course uh, they sort of they sort of... Uh, what's the opposite of elevate? <laughs> the press. The press a little bit, which makes the pinky harder to see. And there you go, you already have a better fist. That's just something you get from experience. This part is kind of much bigger than I'm drawing it, but I think I'm alright. I'm not gonna be too picky about this. So I'm being quiet right now, so I can concentrate a little bit better. After I finish this dagger, I think I will end the stream. With that, we should be done. <laughs> well, that is the progress I made on stream today. As you can see, not very much, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching the stream. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.